everyone, Yolanda here. Today I'm going to be talking about minimalist beauty and it's going to be um, a series. So today I'm going to be talking about um, my skincare and the next video will be about my hair care. So for my skincare, I keep things really simple because I need a minimalist life, of course. And I just, I don't like things being complicated. I just, I don't. So I guess I'll just go through the normal steps um, that I would when I'm getting ready in the morning or taking a shower or whatever. <laughs> okay, so what do I wash my face with? Um, black soap and this is something that I made um, it's African black soap it's made from palm ashes in West Africa um, I don't have any to show you like the raw product but it basically comes in like a black and it's like a dark brownish blackish color and what I do is take a chunk of it I boil some water, boil water on the stove, um, take a chunk of the black soap, and I like to grate it like a cheese grater to make it really thin because that helps it dissolve quickly when you put it in the water. So I grate it um, with a cheese grater, and I like to put some oils in it. So I'll put um, tea tree oil, a couple drops of tea tree oil, and I'll put some olive oil, a couple drops of that too, just for moisturizing properties because the black soap, it can really be drying when you're first using it until your skin adjusts to it. But I like to just add a couple of oils for moisturization and also the tea tree oil is antibacterial. Um, so that's good to help preserve the mixture for a long time. And it's also good, you know, to reduce uh, breakouts and things of that nature. So I wash a black soap. Um, I don't use this every day. I wash my face every other day. And on the in-between days, I just wash with water. Toner, I use witch hazel. I've used like a more organic brands in the past. Um, this one has 14% alcohol in it. Um, and it's 86% witch hazel. But um, this is what I use to tone with. So, and again, I don't do this every day. I usually use my toner once or twice a week. Maybe I should be using it every day, but I don't have any problems. I, I use it a couple of times a week. So toner, moisturizer, I use olive oil with a few drops of tea tree oil. Again, antibacterial properties, um, helps reduce breakouts. So, uh, one thing that I don't have right now that I also use as a moisturizer in addition to the oil is shea butter. I make my own like shea butter moisturizer and it's basically um, just shea butter, a few drops of tea tree oil again, um, olive oil, and I might put some coconut oil in it which I don't have any right now to show you but usually I'll throw that in there mix it up. I like shea butter, especially during the summertime, because it's a natural like skin protectant, so it has like some SPF in it. Um, I don't generally wear SPF, which I know I should, but um, I don't wear, because I haven't found like a good like organic product that doesn't break my face out. I've used Burps Beads has like a little stick that I've used before in the past, but it always breaks my skin out. So if I don't have shea butter, I like shea butter because of its natural protective properties. But, um, you know, like I said, normally I'm out of shea butter. So I've just been using olive oil. I don't know. Um... Anyway, so 
I do plan on getting some more shea butter and making my mixture again because I not only use it on my face, but I use it on my hair and my body. Um, I just haven't bought any because I didn't want to be carrying a big chunk of shea butter on the plane when I move. So I do plan on, you know, bringing that back into the mix once I get settled. Um, so the tea tree oil, not only do I add it to like everything, but if I do get a pimple, I usually take a couple of drops of it and put it on the pimple and it helps reduce it. Um, this is 100% Australian tea tree oil and I got it from Trader Joe's and it was like $3 at the time. All right, um, finally, this is what I use to do um, masks. So I need to like really like detox my skin. This is what I use. It's the Aztec Secret uh, Indian Healing Clay. I use it about once a week, sometimes once every two weeks. Um, it's 100% bentonite clay. Um, they sell it at Whole Foods, which is where I think I bought it, and it was like five bucks at the time. But I've had this for like five years now, um, four years probably, four years. So I don't know if it's still five dollars. I hope it is because it's, I'm almost, it's almost time for me to buy some more. Um, I only use it on my face now to do masks, but I have used it as like a hair cleanser. The reason why I stopped using it is because every time I try to do like a clay uh, mask on my hair, I can never get all the clay out. I don't care how long I stay in that uh, shower. I cannot get the clay out so I just stopped putting it on my hair and I only use it on my face now but I love this stuff. Um, after I use this, after I put this mask on and clean it off, my skin, it just feels like you had a facelift. Like I'm 32, um, I think my skin still looks reasonably good after you know battling adult acne in my 20s um and I have a few wrinkles which the wrinkles that I have didn't even come haven't even popped up recently these are wrinkles that I had from high school because I just used to like worry about shit that I didn't that I shouldn't have been worried about all the time so and probably from also running track in high school and not using um sunscreen but when I use this, I always feel like I've had like a facelift like afterwards. Like my skin is like so tight, it's glowing. Um, the wrinkles that I do have are like minimized, like you can barely see them. I just love this stuff. Um, so yeah, that's it for my skincare. And I'll pan down so you can see everything. Um, everything's mostly all natural. Well, everything is natural here. Even the astringent with alcohol is still, you know, natural. Um, so yeah, African black, African black soap, witch hazel for a toner. Or African black soap for a cleanser, witch hazel for a toner. Olive oil, tea tree oil to moisturize. Tea tree oil for to put in everything. <laughs> Put in moisturizer, the black soap, wear it by itself for like pimples. And then for detoxing mask, I use the bentonite clay, um, the Aztec secret that you can buy at Whole Foods. Um, and shea butter, which I don't have anything to show you because I'm out of it, but I also use shea butter. And that's it. I mean, I think. It's always best to just keep it simple when it comes to your face. You don't want to be putting a lot of chemicals and harmful, harmful, harmful and artificial chemicals on your face because everything's a chemical. I mean, it's just there are some natural chemicals and there are some artificial ones. So you don't want to be putting a lot of harsh artificial chemicals on your skin. You know, and it took me a long time to learn this. You know, it wasn't until my um, late 20s that I really got my skincare game together because like I said I had adult acne um, I didn't I didn't get acne until I went to college um, and I don't know if it was like the water well it's probably a combination of the hard water I went to University of Delaware Delaware has some crappy water let me tell you that 
So it's probably a combination of the water, a change in my eating habits, because I was eating at the dining hall, eating a lot of um, fast food, just probably not a good diet. So that was another factor. Then just the stress from being in a new environment. Um, let me pan back up to my face. The stress from being in a new environment um my sleeping patterns changed because i was used to sleeping you know in quiet at night whereas when you live in a dorm people are up all hours of the night talking listening to music partying studying whatever i wasn't used to that so my sleep habits definitely changed um in college and i developed insomnia which you know i still have to this day um it is, i don't suffer from insomnia all the time but it definitely comes in waves depending on what's going on in my life so a combination of the harsh water, poor, you know, high fat, high sugar, junk food diet in college, um, the stress from just being in college, you know, classes and stuff like that, and then a change in my sleeping habits. All those things I think contributed to me developing acne when I went to college. And I struggled with it for like a long time from my freshman year of college up until I was like probably 26 or 27 so from 18 to 27 which is what nine years I struggled with adult acne um, and you know I tried everything I tried proactive Neutrogena whatever the drugstore had on its shelf that said you know acne um, I tried it and it would always work for a little while and then you know my face would just go back to being the same way. It wasn't until a friend of mine told me about black African black soap that's when I finally started getting relief and like it really like minimized my breakouts. Like right now I don't I don't really get breakouts um, unless it's like around my period and I might get one one pimple but like you know I'm used to like if you can see up close and you probably can't but I have like a lot of oh yes you can I have like a lot of dark marks on my cheeks and that was where I got most of my acne um you know during those years so finally you know I just said I'm not I'm not buying you know anything else from the store anything that's advertised, not buying that anymore. And I just cut out, you know, everything. I mean, it also probably helped that, um, you know, living in a more stable environment versus a dorm and changing my eating habits. I eat a lot better now than I did when I was in college. Um, so I'm sure those things have contributed to um, the reduction of the adult acne but I also think my skincare had a lot to do with it as well. Oh, one more thing that that I use for my skincare sort of that I, <laughs> that I didn't talk about and that's tea. I drink green tea like all day every day. All day every day. So that's definitely um, hydrating and also green tea has lots of antioxidants in it. So I'm sure that's contributed to my um, skin clearing as well. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with this regimen. I don't know if it's gonna work for your skin. Everybody's skin is different, so you have to just experiment. Um, you know, it's just part of the process. Everybody goes through it. Um, but hopefully you find something that works for you and, you know, products that work for you. Um, I make a lot of stuff so just like I was telling you about you know making the black soap and the shea butter mix um, I also use like a natural deodorant that I make um, it's just baking soda coconut oil cornstarch some people use arrowroot powder but I use cornstarch because can't find arrowroot powder around here I'm not ordering it online um, tea tree oil I put that in there and the coconut oil and you can go online and find, you know, recipes for it. It might take some trial and error to find a mixture that works right with you, works well for you. Um, trust me, I've been through that, you know, 
having some stinky pets at the time because of a bad combination. But yeah, but I use that. That's all natural. Um, I've made natural toothpaste before. Again, that's just baking soda, coconut oil. And I throw in tea tree oil into that as well. Just a couple of drops. Um, you can also put peppermint oil into it. Whatever, like, minty oil you like. But yeah, so you can pretty much make anything that goes in your body very cheaply. Less than $5. And it'll last you for a long time. Like... I maybe make one to two batches of this a year. Same with the shea butter. I only make it once or twice a year. Same with the deodorant. I make about probably two batches a year and it lasts me all that time. So you can make this stuff under $5. It'll last you, you know, at least six months, if not longer. It's all cheap and it's all natural. So you don't have to, you know, buy into the skincare companies. Um, in commercials telling you to buy all this stuff um, to make you look younger or whatever. Just do your research and um, you can definitely find low cost natural solutions um, and create a skincare regimen that works for you. Um, yeah, so just keep in mind that simple is best. Oh, and if you are interested in any of the DIY products that I mentioned in this video, um, the face wash, the shea butter mixture, toothpaste, or deodorant, if you're interested in seeing any of those um, recipe tutorials, just comment below and let me know and at some point I will do um, a DIY video just showing you how I make them. But like I said, it's really simple. Um, you know, just go on Google and you can find it. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.